Jackson. Lisa McEwen's been our sweetheart for ooh, two decades. Um, uh, poor Sea Patrol, fabulous. And as if that was not demanding enough, she's now taken on a new challenge. She's sharing her love of cooking. She's got her own recipe book and she joins Miss Lisa and she's bought biscuits. We have. Well, I actually didn't make these because I got caught a plane this morning, but. Um our lovely publisher, Claire from Allen and Unwin, whipped up some Anzacs for well, everybody we ha here. So must have a show. You have show. to have some Anzacs. I'll put them. Not in so, place. cooking. Well, you know, I'm, I'm a bit au fait with the kitchen as well. We did, we in fact cooked some nougat this morning. I, I saw you handing that out. I might mm. have to see if there's any left a bit oh, later. You know, Vincent Gathon, the chef, I sort of, it's oh. all about the temperature. Right. See, this is the marsh, like the marshmallow um, recipe that mm. we've got in our book. It's about the sugar thermometer. It has we, saved we had me. Tell me about your sugar well, thermometer. Well, look, the book basically is about um, about being a mum. My girlfriend, mm -hmm. my best girlfriend in Melbourne, and I put it together because we were talking about mothers' groups and things like that. And so we we said, why don't we put some recipes down and some ideas? So it's more than just recipes; it's ideas for travelling with kids. And there's a big notes section at the back so people can add their recipes because we just believe that as mums, it's about and dads, it's about sharing and. Um, learning and so that's what this book's about we want people to draw on it and write in it and so um, I discovered the sugar thermometer because my mum used to make huge trays of marshmallows and I thought oh how do you how do you do that and so we talked about it and she told me how she used to do it and I tried it once and it was a disaster and then I got the sugar thermometer and it was fantastic and so the kids you know were using my marshmallows and we roasted them around the fire and and we had a lot of fun with it well what is the trick with traveling with kids how old are yours now uh, my guys are now nine seven and five and and we've been traveling a lot with Sea Patrol, so because um, we go to Far North Queensland, so mm. look at this. There's so many tricks involved. You know, how often are they with you when you were shooting there? Because oh, you've the finished the schedule. All yeah, the time, yeah, so we we all stay together, and they uh, they always come up. North, so what's the trick? Look, I, I just think making sure that they're rested, and particularly when they're young, and having lots of snacks. And so mm. this book kind of reflects all of the food that that Di and I do for our families. So we only have to do one meal rather than. Mm meals for kids and meals for adults because she's Greek and she's got so many fantastic recipes and wow. I just wanted them and now I have them. <laughs> and publish them for all the world to I see. I know, I've actually been using it. I've been doing all of Di's recipes and they're fantastic. Hers actually work. Mine <laughs> may not, but oh, hers are fantastic. So. They're not triple tested? Um, they're double tested. Oh, very good. The citrus meringue, my citrus meringue has been, it's five times tested, that one. Good to hear. Yeah. But I mean, it's a pretty busy, busy schedule because over the years, how often have we talked, everything from Blue Healers, right through sea, mm. currently Sea Patrol, um, the, and the musicals you managed to fit in, working and motherhood, because a lot's been said recently about motherhood and women going back to work. Jackie O has been yeah. caught in this uh, crossfire. Um, what, what's your view? Look, I think, um, you know, we, Di and I, when we were doing this book, because she's a stay-at-home mum at the moment, she had a, a busy career before she became a mum, but she's staying home with her kids and I work, and there's a great quote in the book because it's littered with quotes, and it's, um, all work, all mothers are working mothers, and, and, I, and I really believe that's true, and I, and I think that you manage as best you can, and I, and I, I really felt for Jackie O, because I think she's a new mum, she's probably trying to, you know, work it out and get it right, mm. and, and far out we all make mistakes and we do the wrong thing, and I don't necessarily know whether she was doing the right thing, I mean, who knows, she may have just been stepping out of the car when the photograph was taken we don't know but um, I mean lots of women walk and feed a baby at the same time yeah so you know it's I think it's they're difficult arguments and we all but just why are we try. so judgmental I think that's the question that came out of it for me yeah um, you know it's her personal choices when she went back to work where she's feeding her baby mm. but we seem to be pretty harsh Oh, look, I think I always say to my kids, and, and I have my own um, belief that I run my own race, and I, mm. I don't compete with other people. I don't, you know, try to keep up with mm. the Joneses, as you'd say. You know, I just, I just try to do what I'm able to do, but I love my work, and I think mm. it makes me Does a better mum. Does work mom. make Lisa McEwen a better mother? I th for me, and, yes. And family person. Yeah, because I, I find that um, I'm happier because it's my passion mm. and it's um, I don't really have any other hobbies. I really love what I do. But also your success is a fairly good good benchmark, um, mm. everything that you have done. And especially with women, and again, Sarah Murdoch, we talked yesterday about... Um, Quite, I mean, how you can actually call it a 38, and you're, I know, saw the beautiful colour mm. magazine with that you're 40 now. Mm -hmm. Working women at 40 was unheard of 15, 20 years ago. Mm. So, I mean, it's, it's pretty good. Rebecca Gibney doing brilliantly. Fantastic and even Jackie work. Weaver. How did yeah. you feel when Jackie got a nomination 
for an Oscar. Oh, it's so exciting. And it's a little like Jeffrey Rush, too, to think that these people may never have been discovered on the, on the world stage or mm. um, in, in our feature films around the world. And they're so superbly talented. It's, mm. it's absolutely brilliant. And she looked gorgeous at the Oscars. And yeah. I don't, I don't, I've never kind of thought age was a, a, a hurdle or the end of something. And I think, as someone said to me the other day, you're probably getting into your prime as an actor because you've lived a life. Mm. And the roles change. Um, but I, but I love what I, I love what I do. Well, clearly, and you've been successful as uh, Will Hop, Hopscotch and uh, Honey <laughs> Joys. Lisa, always a delight to have you. Carrie, thank you very much. We've got more coming up now. If you've got a hectic like a, a life, a, a good night's 